Hello, my dear friends. Here's Ricardo Melo speaking from Brazil again. Everything all right with you? I hope so. Well, we are beginning another inspirational drop. I really hope you enjoyed the subject of our last drop when we talked about the importance of having a life purpose today. Today we are talking about, we're going to talk about another essential subject. Do you live the life you really want to live? It's a very important question. That feeling, this question really matters. Um, did you really stop to think about who you really are? Well, my friends, usually in our frenetic life, we don't stop to think about our attitudes. Uh, we act on autopilot and we often forget to think and whether what we are doing does or does not make sense to our lives. We don't always consciously deal with our lives. <laughs> it's a big problem again. So many people get lost and feel confused. And um, instead of thinking about what they can, what they can do to align themselves with their life purpose, they end up running away from themselves. Wrong way, definitely. They begin to blame others for their problems, become moody, and become addicts and drug users, which is a bad way. Well, and all this happens because they have lost the address of themselves. Do you agree with that? So, don't miss the address itself. Don't mix... Uh, with the excitement of the outside world and forget to organize the world there is inside there's uh, oh, there is in your mind have you ever wondered if your rhythm of life is harmonious and balanced do you live each moment with awareness or just go through your day anxiously and unconsciously very important questions well uh, life my friends is very very precious <laughs> i really believe that so, like big gift from the universe. So many people stop to think about how valuable it is when something goes wrong. Sometimes it's someone in the family who gets sick. Uh, in other case, uh, they are financial problems. They have, sorry, they have financial problems that worry. Uh, maybe it's some relationship difficulty or even loss of the work. Yeah, the loss of the work. Uh, the, the point is, unfortunately, we don't need to, to, to lose something in order to pay more attention in our life. This is the point here. The fact is that many people will stop thinking about what they are doing with their life after they uh, have gotten into a lot of trouble. You know what I mean? And you. And you, <laughs> how did you live your life? This is the point here. How's your routine? Are you really happy uh, with you uh, handle your routine or not? Many people say they cannot change and end up suffocate by limiting beliefs and a great sense of frustration. Mm -hmm. But does it really have to, um, to be this way? I don't think so. It's possible, my friends, definitely, believe me, it's possible. With a little more attention in the present moment, right now, to stop to see if what we are thinking, feeling and doing is really in line with our consciousness and our purpose of life. So, get into the habit of thinking about yourself much happier and at peace. <laughs> How would you feel if you were living like this? Hmm? Let these images and these sensations, good sensations, take care of you. It's amazing. Allow yourself uh, to enter into all possibilities uh, that exist, uh, far beyond that fear uh, that we have to change. So, if you at least two or three times in a week, if you at least two and three times in a week, stop. Um, stop to think, you know, stop to think about your life in a serene manner, uh, taking a positive approach, you will surely realize that some change can be made to improve your daily routine and you will feel more light and happy. Just uh, experience, just allow yourself doing that. Hmm? Discover by yourself. So cultivate the habit of being optimistic and thinking positively. Believe me, that's a great start. And if you prefer, you can take notes on everything 
good in your life. It helps to focus our attention um, on what really works and we don't usually perceive it. Yeah? Taking notes is very good. I love taking notes. It's very useful. I really like writing. Helps organize ideas, write down all the good things uh, that happened uh, to your last week, our last week, and thank them. So it's a very good purpose. All time we be uh, we can uh, be thankful for everything good that happened with us. Yeah. <laughs> the more awareness you have of life, you want to have the faster you will line up to create the outside of you. This is the point here. And then unconsciously, yeah, pay attention, eh, my friend. And then unconsciously, you will begin to act in a way to change what needs to be changed and have the courage to take a much more positive view of your life. Eh? Definitely the life you really want to live. So remember, first, know yourself. Second, don't be afraid to change. Third, and last one, take notes on what really works in your life. Very simple attitudes, but a great positive impact in our daily routine, in our lives. Okay? So, see you in our next drops of inspiration, of in, <laughs> or in our next inspirational drops. And aha, uh -huh, if you can, please help us share this message with your friends. Thanks once more. Thank you very, very much.